Well, so how's fall been so far for you? Oh, fall's been good, getting adjusted. Uh, it's definitely a transition from going from weights to conditioning to just that live action, being around the guys again. And for long duration, uh, you know, I'm embracing it. It's my last one officially this time. Uh, so it's definitely been fun embracing every day. Do you like being more on the outside? Have you gotten, or have you, do you wish you could play more slide? How do you feel about the, just the position uh, now? I definitely feel like it's a challenge because I did play slot last year, but they kind of transitioned me the latter part of the season to playing the outside. So it wasn't just like a shock to me. So just playing outside now is just like, oh, I look at the slot now, it's like, oh, I, I miss you sometimes, but I'm just happy where I'm at. And they've talked about wanting to pass a little bit more this season. How excited are you for maybe getting, getting a few more looks? Uh, definitely excited for getting a few more touch. I mean, I'm a receiver. Uh, definitely is a different, builds a different dynamic to our offense. So I'm happy about that as well. A lot of people look at us as just like, oh, yeah, all you do is run, you know what I'm saying? So just having that key component of passing definitely opens things up. That was a bit with uh, some like, competition level between the wide receivers and the quarterbacks. It's been heating up a little bit over the last couple of days, but how do you think it's been so far? It's been good. Uh, it's, it's definitely it has been good as far as uh, good on good. Like we have been barking at each other a little bit, but uh, it just makes us better. You know, there's no refs out there, so what I might think is a holding call might not be a holding call. What they might think is a push off might not be a push off. So at the end of the day, it's just going to get us better. But it has been, it's been fun. I'm not going to lie. Like, it may seem like we're heated out there, but once we get in our cars and come back here, it's all smiles. I'm just like, dang, you got me on that one. I didn't want to admit it in front of everybody, but you got me on that one. <laughs> but uh, it's been fun. Whether it's uh, some of the returners on that defense or uh, some of the new guys, what have you seen that maybe stands out from the quarterback group? Uh, i definitely seen our DBs. Man, get a, lot of be get a lot better. They're more hands-on this year. Uh, last year, when I did play a little bit of the outside, I wasn't getting – I'm not going to say I wasn't, like, getting pressed up. But now I feel like if I'm not hands ready, I will get jammed up. You know what I'm saying? If I don't work a release, if I take a play off, I'm getting there all up in my face. So I definitely feel like just as a unit, uh, there's not – I'm, I'm not going to say there's somebody that's really standing out right now because – they rotate three. I go against three DBs every day, three corners every day. So all of them, it's all the same thing. I have to be, put my best foot forward each play. So I think that's the biggest difference, them being more physical this year. What has it uh, been like being, you know, the, the vet in that wide receiver room? Kind of what does that mean for you? Uh, it's definitely been – it's been a, quite an experience. Every year I've always been like the guy that does everything right in a sense, but – have been the leader of the group. Like last year was really the year before I was at Kentucky. It wasn't me, you know, but this year was, you know, like I just had to address my look within myself and see how I could become a better leader before I can lead others. So this off season, like when we were conditioning and lifting weights, I had to look eternally. I had to read coach, uh, coach Sean had us read a book, learn about leadership. So I had to get myself better before teaching those guys. But I feel like it all paid off because I feel like myself, uh, I feel like we, I hold them accountable. They respect me and I respect them and we have fun. We attack every day. What are some qualities you have as a leader, I guess, in that reflection period or trying to find out about yourself? Um, I definitely am kind of an aggressor. Uh, but sometimes, like, I also had to find out how to tempo it. Like, you know, different people respond to different things. So I can't talk to, like, Junior the same way I talk to Javante. Can't talk to Tavian on the same way I talk to Marquis. So it's just like knowing the differences between how I can talk to somebody, how they'll receive it. And so like before the book, before Coach Sean even took time to teach me, it was just like I was always, come on, let's go, like barking, barking. And in my mind, it's just, that's what I respond, that's what I respond to. Like somebody's barking at me, getting on my butt. Because when I feel like you're not arguing, like screaming at me, I feel like you don't care. So that's what I reproduce. So uh by me doing that, I kind of like got Javante down, I got Marquis down. I'm just like, oh man, like, why am I not reaching them? Coach Sean took it back, and we, you know, we had a lot of talks, and now I'm a better person coming out of it. Speaking of Javante, what have you seen uh, from the freshman, obviously, besides his, his size of well. Young Jay, that's what we call him. We call him Young Jay. Uh, he is, like you said, I, you don't want us to be going to the, the body structure, but uh, he's definitely aggressive at times. Uh, I, 
he has a high ceiling. I cannot wait to he knows that, you know, to he step into I just know he has. Like I tell him like the arm lift he has, the the way like, how tall he is. Like, he's a natural God given gift. I wish I had. Like, like I'm like, bro, Javante, once you get it, you're gonna be unstoppable. But he has that natural strength, he has natural hands, and he wants the ball in the air. Cause I mean, he's tall, he wants to go get it. So that's what I see from him. I see that dog mentality, but he just have to learn how the body works. You know, college speed is different from high school, so once he get it, he'll be very good. Is this the uh, the best you've ever felt and, and looked, you know, body wise? Oh, uh, look, I, I don't know. I feel like I've I've looked better. Uh, definitely feel though. Coming in here last year, I was coming off the ACL injury. Uh, had the brace coming off the brace, and uh, I was confident in my knee, but. I mean, realistically, this is my first camp without that brace. I did a spring at Kentucky with the brace. This is my first just being without it. This year, I had a whole year to work it, get it stronger, get my quad stronger, get my knee flexible. Rob and me, we be every other day. Make us strong, do some different movements. I definitely, I don't even care. Like, my knee, I feel like it's, my left leg is stronger than my right leg, honestly. So, I definitely feel good this year. It's tough to uh, get over the mental aspect of a serious injury like that. Um, especially for athletes. So how did you kind of get into that confidence that, you know, you're going to be able to go full goal on the knee? Oh, um, I got, I, I said it before, I've been blessed with a two-parent household and my dad, luckily, not luckily, but I have him to advise me. I have a great foundation. I have a great support system. And he tore his ACL when he was, uh, I want to say he was in an arena. He told me he tore his ACL. And then seeing him and he was just telling me things to do, things to work. And then he was just saying, this light, just just follow the light. Don't believe in, oh, it's hurting today. And think of those negative thoughts, just tune that out. And then I see him moving, and he still plays flag football. That was like 40 something months. Like, he's moving and grooving. So I'm just like, all right, I'm looking too much in this. Let me just keep day by day, stacking days, getting better, getting better. And I mean, look at me now. Like, I'm, I, I, I'm good now. Um, I know the receiver room looks a little bit different, but bringing a lot, back a lot of guys on offense, what's that been like so far, just having that continuity? Uh, definitely, you can tell that we have a, a different vibe to us. Like, coming in last year, I was new. Robbie was, had that spring, but – and then Willie was, like, the only receiver that was really, like, set in stone. This year is kind of like that, too, though. I mean, you have me – you have Ty and Junior, kind of the, the new ends, and you got me, yeah. and then, you know, Taco's down right now, so it's just like – as far as receiver, we're kind of the same, but everybody else is, is firing on all cylinders, man. Like, I feel like we're a close-knit group. We're definitely have more guys, obviously, back in the defense. So it shows sometimes where it's just like we have our little moments where it's slow, but it's, pick, it's picking up so fast. And just by the time we say, come on, pick it up, and then we all listening. You know what I'm saying? We don't have that, that, young, that young mentality. You know, we're, we're all old heads, and we know how camp goes. So we know the energy we got to bring. And I know you mentioned they've been rotating DBs, but who have you been going up against mostly in practice? Oh, uh, I've been going against Simeon. I've been going against Dev. And I've been going against Miles. So that's been the three I've been going against. Uh, man, I, I promise you, it's, I've had my – I've had, my, I've had my battles with all three of them. I'm talking about I can bring plays where Miles get me, I get him. Simi get me, I get him. Devin. So, I mean, they're all – and I tell them every day, I'm like, bro, you guys are getting better. You guys are really getting better. Because last year, it was just like – it was bait chicken, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I was coming in and every other day. But, but no, nah, we, we're definitely making each other better, and I'm, I'm happy for it. Every day is a new challenge. How's, how's Marquis been looking? Oh, yeah. Come on, now. That's, that's Marquis. Marquis is a speech to man, like – Having that natural speed is crazy. Like, uh, I was talking to, watching film, and I'm just like, he told me, he's like, yeah, coach, I'm just striding right here. But you, his stride is my full speed. So I'm just like, I'm like, gosh, Marquis, like, you're so, you're so blessed, man. But he's definitely got that, that mentality of, like, he wants to work. He wants to make plays. And then that's, and like, you know, he's mature as well. So having him back in the receiver room definitely is a, is a bump up to me. Like, I love having him in the room, and. It just another pair of hands, another bring a different dynamic to our receiver core. And, and Tommy is another fast guy. Uh, is that the trait that stands out most physically with him, or are there other physical traits with Tommy? Oh, uh, Tommy. He's definitely is a speedster, but I feel like when he actually 
lock in, his playmaking ability is off the charts. The type of balls he catch, the concentration, he re it really shows more than his speed, I think, when he concentrates. Now, he does get in his head a little bit, but I mean, it's his first time, he's just camp. But when he decides to tune everybody out, calm down, and make plays, he, he, he's up there. He's up there with the best of them. I've heard him called Superman and Captain America. Do you have a superhero nickname for him, too? Oh, I did not know that. Oh, man, I got to I, – I don't know how to – I can't – that came from Julius. <laughs> oh, no, I don't – oh, that's funny. Um, but, uh, nah, I can definitely see Superman, though. Superman is funny. Um, yeah, I, I like Superman. I'm going to have to stick with that one. I'm going to have to stick with that one. How about some goals for, you know, your group in fall camp with the receivers? Um, you know, anything you guys are kind of striving towards day-to-day, a -day, um, motto maybe? Um – First of all, it's just 100% every play, whether it's a running game, whether it's a pass game, because like I said, we've been known as a running, running offense, but we're trying to pass more. So those passes that do come out, we have to make those plays. We can't play, say, oh, the ball was low. Oh, the ball is – we can't – we're not quarterbacks. We're here for one, one reason, catch the football. We're receivers. So it's just catch everything, be playmakers, and just play with 100%. Like, uh, we can't – we can't control the weather. We can't control what field we're practicing on. We can't control how wet it is. These are all complaints that losing teams will complain about. We're, we can't be like that. We want to keep control of us, our 20 square feet, and I just preach 100% of every play and make every play. Who's faster, Marquis or Ty? Or have we seen kind of like? I think Ty, Ty is faster, Marquis is quicker. Marquis quickness is. He is definitely quicker. But Ty's straight line speed is faster. But Ty versus Tommy, we seen it. He got embarrassed. Tommy killed him. I'm sorry I said on air looking at everybody. Tommy <laughs> is a freak athlete. You do not want to race him. I did it once. Luckily, it wasn't this year. It was last year. I got him by a little bit. This year, I won't do it. I seen him. Mm -mm. No, no, no. But, yeah. Is he the fastest on the team? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hurts to say. Last year, <laughs> I got it. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think based on numbers, you know, numbers don't lie. Tommy's definitely fast on the team. Definitely. Can I ask the number? You know, can you can you disclose that? Uh, uh, okay, a range. I can't. I, I I don't I, I don't know if I can disclose it or not. But, Proprietary information. But uh, I can tell you like it was like we were doing a testing. I forgot which one. I think it was the five ten or ten ten. It was like. Oh, the elite number is like 1.09 or something. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly. Tommy had like a 104. I'm like, what? The elite is 1.09. Why are you hitting 1.04? Like, that don't make no sense to me. Like, I'm striving to 1.09 because I'm trying to be elite. But it's just like, he always takes an extra step. I'm like, bro, like, all right, we're getting you fast. Okay, you're done. Like, <laughs> let, let little guys go. But yeah, yeah he, he's moving.